Pat Carroll, best known for portraying the underwater villain Ursula in Disney's animated film The Little Mermaid, sadly died on July 30th at the age of 95. The Emmy Award-winning actress died while recovering from pneumonia at her home on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Stay tuned to find out all the current details surrounding the iconic Disney star's passing. Firstly, in very recent sad news, the iconic Disney star Pat Carroll has passed away. Pat Carroll, best known for her portrayal of the underwater villain Ursula in Disney's animated film The Little Mermaid, sadly passed away on July 30th. She was 95 years old. The Emmy Award-winning actress died at her Cape Cod, Massachusetts home while recovering from a bad case of pneumonia. Now, Carol began her career as a late-night comedian in the 1940s, and she voiced several cartoon characters over the years before winning an Emmy for her work on Sid Caesar's Hour. Carol was born in Shreveport, Louisiana, and her family moved to Los Angeles when she was five years old, where she began acting in local productions. She then attended Catholic University of America after enlisting in the Army and began her career with the entertainment industry with the 1947 film Hometown Girl. She appeared in Laverne and Shirley, Busting Loose, The Ted Knight Show, and she's the sheriff portraying Prunella in the 1965 production of the musical version of Cinderella. Other shows in which she appeared included The Mary Tyler Moore Show, The Love Boat, Designing Women, and ER. Additionally, she received several theater awards for her one-woman show about Gertrude Stein. In 1980, the recorded version also won a Grammy for Best Spoken Word Documentary or Drama. Now, Pat is mostly recognized for her work in The Little Mermaid, where she played the evil sea witch, Ursula. She's provided the voice of the infamous character for a variety of Disney video games and TV shows, most recently in 2020 with the wonderful world of Mickey Mouse series short. As you can see, she's been in the business for a long time and will be deeply missed. In other Disney news, a new series coming to Disney Plus has a dark, true backstory. Here's what you need to know. Under the Banner of Heaven, a new drama series for British audiences, has finally arrived on Disney Plus, and it's based on a horrific true story. The drama, which features Andrew Garfield and Daisy Edgar Jones, is based on the true story of a mother and child who were murdered on July 24, 1984. While Garfield's character, Detective Jed Pyre, is made up, the heinous murders he's tasked with solving is completely real. More specifically, the new series is based on the murders of 24-year-old Brenda Lafferty and her 15-month-old baby daughter, Erica. Now, what exactly happened? Well, both the bodies of the mother and daughter were discovered in their home in American Fork, Utah, by Brenda's husband, Alan, who had been at work at the time of the killings. Brenda was discovered strangled and stabbed in her home's kitchen, while Erica was discovered dead in her crib. Alan's brothers, Dan and Ron, both Mormon fundamentalists, carried out the heinous murders after Ron claimed Gold told him to remove his sister-in-law and niece. After being completely excommunicated from the Mormon church for their bizarre fundamentalist beliefs, Ron and Dan founded their own Mormon sect. Their wives were prohibited from talking to anyone outside the family, driving or having money under their new rules. The children were also removed from school, and the family was forbidden from using modern medicine, and breaking the rules resulted in brutal beatings as a form of punishment. Now, Alan had considered joining their group, but his wife talked him out of it because she disliked polygamy and the harsh practices her in-laws wanted to use. Diana and Matilda, Ron and Dan's wives, ended up then seeking Brenda's advice about their husbands, with Diana soon after leaving her marriage and taking her children with her. Court documents from this time also show Ron blaming Brenda for his wife's divorce and believing Erica would grow up and become just as despicable as her mother. So, after committing the heinous murders, the brothers fled to Nevada, where they were apprehended at a Reno casino. Dan Lafferty decided to represent himself during his trial and was found guilty, receiving two life sentences without any possibility of parole. Currently, he's still incarcerated in Utah State Prison. Ron Lafferty, however, attempted suicide while in jail, causing mental damage, but doctors determined he was ultimately fit to stand trial, and he was sentenced to death. His conviction was reversed in 1991 due to legal errors regarding his mental capacity, but he was later found fit to stand trial again and sentenced to death once again in 1996. He later died of natural causes in the Utah State Prison at the age of 78 after requesting death by a firing squad instead of lethal injection, which was only permitted if the state of Utah ran out of lethal injection drugs. So, as you can see, it's a very dark, real story, and we can only imagine the TV series will not hold back, so watch at your own risk. Now, speaking of Disney movies, especially ones like The Little Mermaid, here are some new ones coming to the big screen in the near future. Indiana Jones 5, Avatar 2, Marvel,
Marvel, Pinocchio, Star Wars, and other films are on the Disney release schedule for the next few years. With its range of original movies, live-action retellings, and Marvel and Star Wars IP making global box office splashes, Disney has become one of the top-grossing movie studios. Several more films, both animated and live-action, will be released by the company over the next few years. Let's take a look at a few. First up, Pinocchio is coming in September 2022. Pinocchio, the latest in Disney's line of more realistic remakes of its animated classics, is directed by the legendary Robert Zemeckis and uses a combination of both live action and computer animation in order to tell the original story of a puppet who comes to life. Geppetto is played by Tom Hanks and Pinocchio is played by Benjamin Evan Ainsworth. The supporting cast includes Cynthia Erivo, Luke Evans, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Keegan-Michael Key, and Lorraine Bracco. Unlike previous Disney remakes, Pinocchio will be available exclusively on Disney+, Plus, so make sure you keep your eyes out for this one. Next, Strange World, which is coming November 2022. Strange World is the upcoming film from Walt Disney Animation Studios. The upcoming film has been described as an action-adventure film inspired by pulp novels and starring a legendary family of adventurers, though little else is known about it this moment in time. Now, Don Hall directed the film and Ki Win wrote it, both of whom previously worked on Raya and The Last Dragon. Next up, the highly anticipated Avatar 2 coming in December of this year. The release date for James Cameron's long-awaited sequel to 2009's Avatar has been shifted so many times that it's very difficult to keep track. What was once one sequel became four, with the film being delayed for several years to allow for filming. However, production on Avatar The Way of Water, the first sequel, was completed in September 2020, and the film will now be released in December 2022. Avatar 2 will feature the return of Zoe Zeldana's Nate Deary, Sam Worthington's Jake, and a slew of other characters 13 years after the original. The current plan is to release an Avatar sequel every two years, with the third installment scheduled for December 20th, 2024. A Little Mermaid remake is coming and will finally debut in May 2023. The live action The Little Mermaid has a release date after finally wrapping production in July 2021. The film was meant to start filming in the spring of 2020, but it was delayed by COVID-19 and other factors. The Little Mermaid will finally be seen by fans when it arrives in theaters in the spring of 2023. The Little Mermaid, directed by Rob Marshall and written by Jane Goldman, and is set to be a great watch. Next up, all the Marvel movies that are coming up. It's no secret by now that Disney Plus is home to all things Marvel, and the Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, aka MCU, has seen it expand in a variety of different directions, including the launch of Disney Plus series starring MCU characters and the incorporation of alternate universes into films such as Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Now, Black Panther Wakanda Forever will take place after the tragic death of Chadwick Boseman, which will be released on November 11th, 2022. In 2023, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, will be released on February 17th, with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 set to be released on May 5th, and The Marvels, starring Captain Marvel and Ms. Marvel, being released on July 28th, 2023. There are also confirmed Fantastic Four, Blade, and Captain America films in development, so lots to look forward to. And finally, what's going on with Star Wars and their releases? The theatrical future of Star Wars is much less clear in comparison to Marvel, with the franchise abandoning cinemas following the generally negative reception to The Last Jedi and instead focusing on Disney Plus series. Nonetheless, Disney has announced release dates for future Star Wars films. The first of these biannual releases, a Rogue Squadron film directed by Patty Jenkins, is scheduled for December 22nd, 2023. The following untitled Star Wars film will be released on December 19th, 2025. Now, a number of creators, including Last Jedi director Ryan Johnson, Marvel head honcho Kevin Feige, and in demand, Taika Waititi, have been announced as working on upcoming Star Wars films. But at the moment, it's very unclear which of these projects will end up in the movie theaters. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.